Good evening and welcome to All Hallows Episcopal Church on this Wednesday, June 26th for a service of night prayer or Compline. Um, if you don't have a copy, it's available online, but for tonight, just listen and follow along. I'm thrilled to have Karen Wilson help lead this evening. Good evening, Karen. Good evening. Let's just take a moment, let your shoulders drop. It's the end of the day. Try to release today's stress as we enter into a time of conversation with God. The angels of God guard us through the night. And quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide. To lead us to peace and glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early, and so late to take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts, even while they sleep. Take a moment to breathe. My siblings, our help is in the name of the eternal God. Who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star, we repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love. O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts, and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn in us. Cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us, mm -hmm. that we may love and praise in deeds and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our be being and open our lips. That our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. We're going to use Psalm 4 today. Answer me when I call, O God, for you are the God of justice. You set me free when I was hard-pressed. Be gracious to me now and hear my prayers. Men and women, how long will you turn my glory to my shame? How long will you love what is worthless and run after lies? Know that God has shown me such wonderful kindness. When I call out in prayer, God hears me. Tremble, admit defeat, and sin no more. Look deep into your heart before you sleep, and be still. Bring your gifts, just as you are, and put your trust in God. Many are asking, who can make us content? The light of your countenance has gone from us, O God, yet you have given my heart more gladness than those whose corn and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For in you alone, O God, do I dwell unafraid. Do not ask anxiously, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? What shall we wear? The whole world runs after such things. Set your heart and mind on God's commonwealth and justice first, and all the rest will come to you as well. 
So do not be anxious about tomorrow. Today has enough problems of its own. Tomorrow can look after itself. Just take a moment to contemplate those words from Matthew's Gospel. And what I'm struck by today, again, as happens often, is that word anxiously. And as I heard it, I realized that there are times when we make decisions that are wrong because we are anxious. We, we grab at things because we are anxious that the next thing won't be there. And we forget to trust in our anxiousness. So I invite you to contemplate how being anxious affects our decision-making capability and whether we trust and how we can better trust God. Just take a moment. Amen. Into your hands, O oh God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O oh God of truth and love. Keep me, O oh God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O oh God, while waking and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Amen. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Eternal Spirit, earth maker, pain bearer, life giver, source of all that is and that shall be, father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. This moment of intercession, we invite yours, either aloud or in the silence of your hearts. And if it's just a jumble of thoughts that you can't put together, just lift the jumble up to God who will make sense of what you are praying for. We pray for those on our parish prayer list, for Debbie, Annie, Cannon, Larry, Amaya, Mike, Bill, for Linda, Judy, and Jack, Charlotte, Bill, Donald, Karen, Bob, and June, Ben, Phyllis, Bob, Robin, William, Alexandra, Frank, Mackenzie, John, Anne, Sean and Ann, Patricia, Donna, Tom and family, Bob and family, 
the Greenberg, Gelrod, and Nolan families, the Hader, Mebus, and Tochek families. We pray for those who are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, and any other adversity. For the hungry, for the unhoused, those who are living in precarious situations, either physically, financially, or spiritually, for the unemployed and the underemployed, for those who are not finding or have no clarity of purpose, for those who are living with addiction, those who suffer with their mental health, for the angry and the anxious and the crowded and the isolated. We pray for our world, for an ending of violence everywhere, especially in Ukraine, Sudan, and the Middle East and Gaza. We pray that peace will be sought We pray for those who are suffering innocence in these conflicts and for refugees and those who are most vulnerable for the children and the elderly and the disabled. Pray for aid agencies trying to bring food, shelter, water, comfort, compassion and mercy. We pray for an end of gun violence in our streets, an end of racism and discrimination in all its forms. We pray for our church. It's no secret we record this during the day, so by the time this is released, we will have a new presiding bishop. And so we offer prayers for the presiding bishop elect, whomever they may be. And we give thanks for the Holy Spirit to lead to a new shepherd for the Episcopal Church in the United States. We pray for all the bishops who stood for election and their diocese. We pray for our church all hallows, for our ministries, that we may bring light and love into the world. We give thanks for our vestry who met last night. We remember all who have died that they may have a place in God's eternal kingdom, especially for the saints of all hallows. And we do give thanks. We give thanks for the day that has been the night ahead of us, the chance to rest, to sleep. We give thanks for moments of joy today for laughter, for family and friends, for unexpected encounters. We give thanks for birthdays and anniversaries. Especially Elwyn, who turns three today. Oh, happy birthday, Elwyn. <laughs> we give thanks for the blessings that we've seen and the blessings that we haven't seen. Give thanks for the people of All Hallows, for Karen and her ministry and the ministry of all those here. Give thanks for the vestry. All these prayers we lift up to you, O God, in the sure and certain hope that you hear and will act as is best for us. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest.
For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star. Glorified and exalted above all forever. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of our world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. To God, the creator who loved us first and gave this world to be our home. To God, the redeemer who loves us and by dying and rising pioneered the way of freedom. To God, the sanctifier who spreads the divine love in our hearts. We praise in glory for time and for eternity. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and warmth of God be among us and between us now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, and happy birthday to Elwyn. <laughs> what a joy. Um, we will be back again tomorrow for uh, evening prayer, or I'm sorry, for Compline night prayer at eight o'clock and Thursday and Sunday, our service is at 10 o'clock. We will be celebrating July birthdays and anniversaries um, on Sunday. So I know it's still June, but it's June 30th. So we're going to do it so that everybody gets their chance. Uh, please know that all are welcome here always. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. Thank you, Chris. Be at peace and pray for peace.